Hi, my name is Jeff Rodman. I live in uh, Columbus, Ohio. I'm here to introduce you to What the Hell. 73 Ford Econoline van. It's got a 302 engine in it for power. Uh, nothing special. Still got a carburetor in it. I did upgrade it to electronic ignition. As far as power goes, uh, um, I also ran a dual exhaust system on it. I don't have any any uh, mufflers, but uh, so it's got a little rumble to it. We have fun with it. So, as far as uh, where it came from, I, an uncle of mine built this. Uh, he owned a custom boat shop all his life and uh, was a master with fiberglass. And uh, I'm standing here with a brochure that I, you know, want to show you. Um, he built ice boats. It's, it's boats with runners on the on the ice that. These things can do 60, 80 miles an hour uh, easily with wind. And uh, he built this to actually take these boats. As he got older, he put tires on the boats. And he built this truck to take those boats out to the salt flats out, out west. Um, I think as he got older, he just didn't enjoy the cold anymore. And <laughs> he wanted to take it out west. So, so this is, again, this, my uncle built this. It, th there's some blood to it. Uh, he called it VAR, uh, which meant very awesome racer. Uh, I renamed it and put it across the windshield as what the hell, just because we would see people, we'd go through little towns doing 20 miles an hour, and we could read people's lips going, what the hell? Or at car shows, they'd walk up and, what the hell? So that's how I got its name to it, and it's kind of stuck through the years. So. So we're here to just show it off, you know? So we're gonna do the features now, some of the little options that have been added on the truck just to, to share with you. First of all, the, the mirrors are added. They were off of a, I wanna say it was a Chevy Blazer. Um, they, you know, the side ones were taken off. Obviously it's been chopped that these would have been full vent windows back in the day. So there's about a three inch chop on this truck. Uh, the vents here on the side, that's out of uh, fairings off of motorcycles. I got one here and there's one on the other vent window on the other side as to get some ventilation in this truck. The vent on the top here is a vent off of a Chris Craft boat and underneath it there's a hole that goes through the system in this tail. We'll show you as we go around the truck. Um, it allows, it draws air into it after, and then once it's through there, the air actually exits out the hole in the tail of this truck. Mm -hmm. So it's strictly an air movement. Uh, there is no air conditioning in the truck, so anything we can get to keep it moving inside is a big help. The side panel, this was just an add-on, it's an option I could buy at any parts store. It's just a gas cap, so. The best feature is my propeller. Uh, we actually have people at some of the car shows will walk up and ask if this thing will go in the water. So the story is I tell them that the, uh, it does, and when I get in the water, the propeller gets us moving, but the weight takes this hole down to the water level, and that's when the jet engine kicks in, and it just, you know, just one of them real, I mean, kind of dumb things. So. Of course, that's self-explanatory. Remove before flight. Oh, yeah. The color theme came from, I was a big fan of the Thunderbirds when I was a young kid. And um, I actually approached the Air Force about painting it similar to a jet of theirs. And they said that would be infringement rights that I would infringe on. So this is what I came up with. And again, I'm just that damn proud American. So, and the front there, you know, this is all the, the, the only hood area access to my engine. All this is permanent, but it's all controlled by a cable pulley system that locks this down that I open from inside the truck. So it's very unique, uh, again, there, there's nothing original on the front of this truck or the interior for that fact. But what we got next for you? The board I had painted by some kid back when you could used to get people to paint at a 
at, a, at the local mall. Yeah. Um, wow. This I burned myself at tr car shows and van rallies. I sit with a, a uh, magnifying glass and burn that in, uh, with the sunshine. So oh, wow. that's just one I've hung on there since I've had the truck. So shared that for through the years. To go to the interior, just to follow up on the whole air control in the ceiling, it looks like a speaker. Mm -hmm. That's where the air will actually flow up through the tail and then out. And over on the wall behind my driver's seat is a cable that I can open and close that vent door in oh, that. So, okay, yeah. so as long as I'm moving, I can get air in it. Mm -hmm. The back. The back we've had for for the 15 years that my wife and I have gone vanning with this truck. Um, we used to have an air mattress that fit in here, mm -hmm. and of course this is just storage area. Yeah. But with right. the with yeah. the air mattress, we we could sleep in here, and then of course all our gear went up here on the top shelf. Wow. Right now we're kind of in show mode with just a lot of the signs and and silly things that I do carry around with it. Mm -hmm. So. My dash, well, that's all custom, mm -hmm, yeah. all wood that, again, my uncle did all of that by himself. I shouldn't say just my uncle. He had two sons of my age, and they did a lot of this work, too. Mm -hmm. um, the gauges, I still haven't found anybody to tell me exactly what year they're out of, but we guessed it's a late 50s Chevy truck that those gauges are out of up oh, there. Okay. The steering column's out of a Cadillac. It's a tilt wheel. Mm -hmm. What you need to get in and out of this truck, it's, it's tight with being a chop, so. Yeah. Right. Oh, I, yeah, I mean, did a whole stickers and, uh, and, and again, I was, the, the whole paint theme came from that, the Air Force Thunderbirds, and yeah. so I keep a few of them in here, and of course people ask me if I was in the Air Force, but again, just a damn proud American. And of course, this is a curtain when we used to live in here. You just draw it. It's an American mm -hmm. flag. So. Yeah. Now you were telling me something quickly, about your floor here. And yeah. quickly, one more feature that not, a lot of people don't know is here because I don't want them to know, but underneath is the battery oh, for the truck. Oh, how about that? And of yeah. course, I got a jack and stands and just cleaning supplies and oil to mm -hmm. carry with us. But there you go. Stuff you're going to need on the road. Yep, yep. exactly. Perfect. So. How cool is that? Gone, no see? There. Yeah. Well, we've also smuggled alcohol to Canada that way, too, but <laughs> yeah. they don't check that spot, so. Uh -huh. Yeah, we've been up about 10 years, 10 different years with this truck in Canada. They love it up there. Uh -huh. So I had some Vanner friends find me this down in Florida, and of course, it just corresponds with what's on the, uh -huh. on the windshield, so. Go. That's what Vanners do for each other. That's right. <laughs> 73 Ford looked like, so I took those pictures together just to show the, the difference in the height, the chop, and then just how much, you know, when I, when I, a lot of times when I introduce a truck, we just tell them this is a 73 Ford, slightly altered, and they get a kick out of that, so. <laughs> Okay, so now you were showing us your doors on the inside. On so, the well, and, and they're all solid wood. Mm -hmm. Those are all hand designed too. And the material that's on the doors and on the dash, um, this was materials that again, being my uncle worked on boats, this was the stuff they used to put on the dashes in boats. Oh, okay. And this has been in, in the truck as long as I've owned, well, since he built it in the late 70s. Wow. And look at it, even the dash is not faded out with this oh, stuff. Wow. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Good stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. easy to clean. So, yeah. uh -huh. you know. Oop says he wants, people want to hear how this van sounds. So we're going to start this up and you get to hear. All right, let's get her done. Let's get her done. Want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Sounds great. Off. Yeah, very so nice. <laughs> well, again, thanks for showing her to us. Thank you. You answered a lot of questions that a lot of people had for a long time, so now we, we know what's happening. Thank you. All right, buddy. 
So after all is said and done, um, I'm getting old, the truck's getting old, and it's just hard for me to take care of anymore. So I've decided I think I'm going to try to sell it. And as it says, I'm not going to take any offer, but um, if you're interested, get a hold of me. I'd appreciate it. Um, you just got the tour, so let me know.